In the past year, I've been to church once and my Bible reading seems to have dropped to a bare minimum and my prayer life has gone from a place where I remember asking for, you know, big, exciting, life-changing things to just small whispers of help me and I need you. On top of this, my church even closed its doors for good and it's like fellowship and community is just dissolving around me. I've been quiet, emotional, drained, lonely at times. These are feelings that I've barely felt my entire life and it's all happening in the space of a few months. I've lost work, I was really sick and you know, we've got celebrity pastors falling left, right and center right now. If I'm being really honest, I don't think my faith has been this weak in like the whole of the last 10 years. And the climax came a few days ago. I remember thinking, it's like I'm not a Christian anymore. After all, the word Christian translates as someone who is trying to be Christ-like. And I don't think I'm living like that at all. I'm basically just in survival mode right now. I used to be so on fire. I was the one that was giving the motivational speeches. I was the one that was praying for people, encouraging people. And I feel like I'm just not there right now. Even my whole creative capacity has dropped massively. I'm not making any content on here really. This is just me being honest. And so I know that there must be other people that are feeling this way. I know that I can't be being that dramatic. It has been a crazy year where so much has been stripped away. But all of this sort of processing and rambling that I've been doing recently has kind of led me to two big questions. And I wanna tell you what those are today, right now, and hopefully they'll bless you and they'll get you thinking and maybe they will help you as well, okay? Are you ready? Number one is, is this what we asked for? Now, don't get me wrong. I don't believe that this pandemic was what we were praying for. I don't believe that it's God's wrath on mankind or anything like that. But I do believe that God turns things around for good. And if we've been praying as a Christian body for things like revival or for something like, you know, the church to be purified or the church to, to change on what it's built on, then maybe this is God using this circumstance to make those sort of things happen. Of course, we want to help removing all the distractions so that it's just us focusing on Jesus. Maybe this is what that looks like. Maybe this is how an awakening of the faith is going to be birthed. Not where we're relying on big shiny churches or mega pastors or anything like that. It's just us and Jesus, and nothing else. This actually leads me quite nicely onto the second question that I've come to, which is, who is responsible for your faith? Who is responsible for maintaining your relationship with Jesus? Is it your pastor? Is it your church, your Sunday morning routine? Is it that friend or that particular family member who you look to and are inspired by? I don't know, but Right now, we've got none of that. It's just us and him. Any relationship we're in needs work and we need to be responsible and accountable to ourselves in what our relationship with Jesus looks like right now. Are we gonna draw close to him? Are we gonna look to him? Are we gonna be honest with him? Are we gonna be vulnerable in front of him about how we're feeling? Are we gonna open up and we're gonna push through the walls that seem to be in the excuses and the lies that seem to be coming up right now against us? Are you willing to do whatever it takes to get him back? Are you willing to fast? Are you willing to say no to a whole load of things? Are you willing to tell him that you are available because he is available for you right now? He is willing, he wants you, and I need to change my attitude, and I need to change my perspective, and remember that he is waiting for me, and that it's up to me to do something, to get myself back out of that survival mode, and back into that revival mode, that I can remember myself being in like a year ago. But I think I'm gonna just stop there, because there's so much more that I wanna say, Remember, he is the only answer and he is ready for you. Draw close to him and he will draw close to you. Let's do it. Jesus, I'm sorry. Let's go.